I hope those are watching this tutorial are doing great and having good health. Welcome to Fahad's tutorial once again and in this video I'm going to explain about some sort of like types of vitamins and from where we can get these vitamins from a day to day life if we can manage or we can maintain a balanced diet, proper balanced diet. So why it's important to know about the vitamins because in the chapter of uh, food nutrition and digestion there is another components where this vitamin C is claimed and later on some deficiency disorders or the disease uh, due to the deficiencies of vitamins has been discussed so in this tutorial I'm going to explain uh, very shortly what is the types of vitamins and some foods that we can have that vitamins from a day-to-day -day life so at first, I want to say that what is the definition of a vitamins? As you know that vitamins is an organic compounds or organic molecules which is required a very small amount but it can possess a very complex and important roles for maintaining our good health and immune system. So immunity means the protections in human bodies and this is definitely important to get healthy and to live long. So that is why vitamins is definitely required but it's in a small amount. So think about the uh, types of vitamins that is two types. Especially vitamins are divided into two types. That is fat soluble vitamin and water soluble vitamin. According to solubility vitamins are divided into two parts. If the vitamins are soluble in water they are called water soluble vitamins but if the vitamins are soluble in fat we say it fat soluble vitamin so very frankly the fat soluble vitamins actually four vitamin a d e and k but the water soluble vitamins are two types vitamin c and vitamin b complex as because it said vitamin b complex because there are eight types of vitamin b included in this category that is why it's called vitamin b complex think about it what i have written here though i have written something which is actually already maybe on your book or you can have it from google so fat soluble vitamins and water soluble vitamins see about fat soluble vitamins i said it there are vitamin a d e and k so four types of vitamins will be under fat soluble vitamins so what is vitamin a this vitamin a its components are like retinol retinol retinoic acids and beta carotenes and these vitamin a is very important for the growth and development and also for good sight for visions and this vitamin a is is, is found in some sort of like Foods and there are a lot of other foods. I try to uh, write some some main foods that which is available in our day to day life. So as we know that vitamin A is important for our visions, for our good sight, and is also important for proper growth and development. See milk, eggs, liver. If it can be like it can be like beef livers, it can be from others and it's dairy products, cod liver oil colored vegetables and small fishes like which is available like mala fish and dela fish these fish are available so vitamin A actually found from these foods milk, eggs, liver, dairy product, cod liver well, colored vegetables and mala fish or dela fish like which is smaller fish now think about vitamin D so in case of vitamin D this is totally functional in case of bone developments and teeth developments so bone and tooth developments uh, is required vitamin D and also this vitamin D can be found from this type of food similarly and mainly uh, when sunlight fall down into the skin and under the skin uh, the vitamin D is also synthesized so that is why it's encouraged for the for the babies newborn babies to kept into the sunlight under the sunlight covering eyes and reproductive organs so that vitamin D can be synthesized inside the skin and this is highly encouraged so that if there are any newborn babies so it will be better if uh, he or she can be kept, kept under the sunlight so vitamin D will be helping for forming the bones and teeth of the newborns and infants think about vitamin E vitamin E is a 
as a vitamins that is actually group of eight type of components which is four tocopherols and four tocotrienols these components pro, pro, uh, composes like vitamin E and these are the foods and these are the foods from where we can have vitamin E think about it sunflower seeds spinach peanuts avocado almonds shrimps and hazelnut these are important source that uh, we can have vitamin E from like sunflower seeds spinach peanuts avocado almonds shrimp hazelnut think about vitamin K and uh, this vitamin K is important for bone health and also wound healing we can say that vitamin K deficiency bleeding this is very important for for the clotting factors vitamin K is important so uh, vitamin K is important for blood clotting so this is actually some type of disease for deficiency of vitamin K so this vitamin K deficiency bleeding so from where we can have vitamin K that is kale, spinach, turnip greens broccoli, cauliflower and cabbage these are the foods from where we can have vitamin K now think about vitamin C which is a water soluble vitamin so as we said that water soluble vitamins are two types vitamin C and vitamin B complex in case of vitamin C it's known as ascorbic acid and these ascorbic acids is well functioning in case of it is actually an antioxidant and it's worked for cell productions so vitamin C is working for the cell production mainly and of course is, a, is working as an antioxidant so from which product or which food we can have vitamin C there are a number of foods but I have enlisted some of them like guava we can have vitamin C from orange pavlo star fruit broccoli papaya tomato pineapple cabbage green chili fresh vegetables and etc etc there are a lot uh, the foods we can have it from vitamin C think about a vitamin B complex there are eight types of vitamin B in including a vitamin B complex and these are vitamin B1 it's known as thiamine vitamin B2 it's known as riboflavin vitamin B3 it's known as niacin vitamin B5 known as pantothenic acid vitamin B6 known as pyridoxine vitamin B7 is known as biotin vitamin B9 is known as folic acid and lastly vitamin B12 which is known as cyanocobalamin or cobalamin so these are the vitamin B complex and you can have these vitamin B's from from, from this source also so that is why I was just wanted to give you some a very short a tutorial about vitamins because it's important to know that from which food we can have what type of vitamins and what are the importance of these vitamins though uh, each and every single types of vitamins require one special tutorial but as I'm just uploading this tutorial up on ACC level or O level students those who are watching this tutorial if you are ACC level so you can see that what is the discussed issues on your books under food and nutrition chapter so that you can memorize these tables into this so you can have a uh, fat soluble and water soluble you can divide as a tabular form so that it's visualized to you so that you can can think together the whole scenario what is vitamin A D E and K those are fat soluble and what are vitamin C and vitamin B complex so I hope uh, um, you understand and you can make a table like that that will be helpful for you to understand and to memorize what are the foods uh, uh, enriched what type of vitamins and what are the functions of vitamins so see you in the next class I'm coming up with the next video of uh, disorders or diseased by different uh, vitamins so take care stay well bye